Well, State Senator Louise Lucas denies the allegations against her in the wake of the damage done to Portsmouth's Confederate Monument. A petition to remove her from office claims that she told city police to stand down while vandals removed, defaced, and spray-painted statues and the monument's base. But as 10 in your side's Chris Horn shows us, the way she responded was not what you'd expect. Not this time was the rallying cry tonight at Portsmouth City Hall. I can't really say that the state senator spoke in her own defense. She let others do the talking for her. After the rally, before a crowd of about 250 at City Hall, Senator Louise Lucas listened to questions from the press, but didn't actually answer. The questions are going to be directed to... You don't want to talk with us directly? No. I'm going to... All my questions will be answered. Why is that? Yes. Why don't you want to talk with us directly? Because she's been advised not to. Following the vandalism to the Portsmouth Confederate Monument last week, Attorney Tim Anderson of Virginia Beach began a petition to remove Lucas from office. He says when Lucas told protesters they wouldn't be arrested, it was a message to police to stand down. Two leaders from the Portsmouth NAACP were, in fact, arrested briefly that day. Scott, once again speaking for Lucas, says she was long gone from the area when vandals ruined the monument. Later on that evening, that was some unfortunate incidents. Somebody got hurt. This lady had nothing to do with it, so stop trying to connect those dots. And the truth, and the truth is inconvenient. Several religious leaders rallied for Lucas. We will stand with her and declare, not this time. Not this time. We will not go down without a fight. Not this time. Meaning this time it will be different. And the death of George Floyd? You will not put your knee on the neck of Senator Lucas. Not this time. Not this time. Will not be in vain. And damaged or not, symbols of the past must go. Remove it! Yeah. And remove it now! Yeah. Lucas's allies also are calling for a citizen's review board to review police behavior, especially in cases of use of force, to achieve what they call meaningful police reform. In Portsmouth, Chris Horn, 10 on your side.